What's up everybody? It's Todd Johnson Mixing and I am obviously in a different location right now than my studio. I'm actually in my favorite spot on earth, my yard. But I remember in some previous videos I talked about that I was going to review some of my classes with Full Sail. So that's what this is going to be about. It's actually going to be the first class that I took. So if you are interested in mixing audio, tricks, tips, and anything Full Sail University regarding my audio production course that I'm doing right now, go ahead and click subscribe. It not only helps me out, it helps other people who are searching for this channel. It helps the algorithm for YouTube out. And all in all, it's a win-win. And without further ado, we're gonna jump into this video. Here we go. So my first class with Full Sail University was a speech class and it's called Creative Presentation. Now, I have taken a speech class before in college and I asked them, hey, do I really need to take another speech class? And the answer was yes. And I was kind of a little frustrated at the beginning. However, when I took this class, I found out why. Listen, this is the best class I've taken so far. And I've been with Full Sail University for seven months now. So if you're interested to find out what this class is about, here it is. So Full Sail University's classes generally are four weeks. And this class is no different from that. It's a four week course online. How it's structured is each week you have a reading assignment, you have to post in the discussion board and reply to someone else, and you also have to watch a lecture, whether that's live or recorded. But I would strongly advise you to check out the live because it's just more uh, in person. It feels more real. But week one, here's how it was. I had a lecture, I had a discussion, post, and reply to someone else. I had the reading assignment like we just talked about and that had a presentation to do. This presentation was three TED Talks that I reviewed. Now I had to review everything about these TED, everything from what the person covered to how they talked about it to their rhythm, their timbre, their pitch. Did they, did they go up and down? Were they boring? Were they not? What was it about their speech that made their TED Talk good? And so that's what this first assignment was for creative presentation. Now, I did it on Keynote because I'm more of an Apple kind of guy, but there's a lot of people who did it on PowerPoint, um, online, slideshows, things like that. So it, this class is pretty wide open as far as how you do the assignments. The most important thing is that you are doing them and that you get them. But if you have questions, when you get into the course, go ahead and talk to your professor. They're really good, they're really open people, they're really willing to work with you. So that's the first week. The second week, same three things. Discussion post, lecture, reading assignment, and reply to someone else's discussion post. Now for week two, everything is the same as far as the lectures, the discussion posts, the reply, the reading assignment, but where it gets different is you start planning your presentation. Now where this gets really cool is you are envisioning yourself as a graduate from Full Sail who has already done the work, already made it through, got their degree, and you are pitching yourself to an employer or a client. So that's, that's where it gets really cool. But this assignment, week two, is specifically making a plan. You're not making a first draft, nothing like that. You're just making a plan on what you want to do with your presentation. And there's a lot of chances for feedback. There's Q and A's with your professors. So that's really cool, it helps you out. Week three, you guessed it, you've got a lecture, you've got discussion posts, replies, and you've also got a reading assignment. And I guess you can probably see there's a rhythm here. But week three is where you put that plan that you created in week two to work. You create your first draft of your presentation from your plan. So that's week three. Week four, once again, same old, same old, except you're creating your final draft. Now between week three and week four, you'll get a lot of feedback from your instructors. You'll get a lot of help from your instructors. It's a really, really good class to take. Now, some people have some questions, I'm sure, about this class. And if I don't field the questions in this specific video, leave a comment down below because I wanna answer them. I wanna give you my take on how this class was. But if there's anything I can encourage you with, listen, this is my third time going to college. I'm now between my seventh and eighth month at Full Sail, and I have yet to make below an A. Now, my first two times going to college, I was afraid 
and even my third time I was a little afraid because it was an online school but it helped out a lot to have these instructors on my side it helped out a lot to have a community that I can lean on that can really give some good feedback about what my projects were what my assignments were and how good or how bad they were and maybe some things that could be changed so it's really awesome to be in this class it's a great start to Full Sail University. If you have any more questions about this class, go ahead and leave a comment down below. I'd love to answer them for you. But all in all, Creative Presentation is a great class. It teaches you so much more than just speech. It teaches you the most in-depth parts of speaking, like the psychology of speech. And it's, it's really helpful, to be honest. And I think it's going to help me in my future trying to get clients, trying to work with employers and other engineers so like I said if you like this video and you want to see more content go ahead and click subscribe like the video check out my other stuff and share it with your other friends who want to go to full sail all right guys that's it for this video and we'll do month two class two pretty soon all right later oh one more thing what do you guys think about doing these videos outside versus in a studio my opinion I love it out here um, it's easy fresh air it's really nice but what do you think leave a comment down below all right later for real this time